on the launch pad let's see this is a better video to use Majazani Stockstaif and Kunzi and just arrived is Maverick got a nice channel that's forming here not as bad as from the estuary mouth up And then the sandbar, if you cross it, you might run into a wall of water. And then a little bit north of me, I probably should move a little bit more north. It forms a nice gully and a nice gap. So all day floating with a nice glow of all the electronics inside the boat. This is fiddling there with the, the one motor. Seems that it started now. And behind me, Leon with five star is arriving. Look at the, all of a sudden the wall of water. It's not big this morning. Not here where we are today. And Marius is on the power with Stockstaif. He's gonna have a nice gap. Over it. Almost too slow. He has to run with that one on his shoulder. It keeps on closing. He's gonna get in front of it. Yes, he's turning in it to the saddle. Well done. And that was a nice dry launch for stock stave this morning. Oops, I talk too soon. Nope, it's still a dry launch. Happy hunting. Enjoyed Majazani running. Wiseman has to push hard to get them off the lip. Nice into the channel. I didn't see if that was two strokes or four strokes. He's going quickly towards the sandbank. He's got his angle right. He's running north. He's closing up on the sand in the channel for him. It's becoming big. Uh, it looks like if the sun is pulling these waves into tall monsters. Look at that big one. Not the one that is over, the one that is just broken. It's gonna punch through the white foam and behind it is a huge one. Oh my lord am I. But there's a no, long enough gap that he can wait it out, dissipate it, he's gonna punch through it, a little bit of overspray. And Majazani is turning around in front of the monster. Oh my. It was so calm for the first couple of seconds. And then it started all over again. It's closing up in front of Majazani again. He's going to keep on punching the foamies. To try and get into the gap before they form again. Well done Majazani. Happy hunting in the sea that's been pushed there. Look at that beautiful elegant dashboard on the 22 foot Hellcat. Closing up on the sandbar, be patient. Don't rush things. Keep your 45 degrees. For in case they're closing up that you can turn around. Now you can turn south. Nope, don't turn south, go north. It's 
but over that one sideways keep on running Alan that's it open the ears you can turn east now oh it's closing up he's turning around it's a white berth if you go north now you will have a nice gap now you must wait it be patient yes nope Oh my! Yes, that's what the Alcat is for. Well done, Ellen. That is what the Alcat is for. Yo! We use the Alcat there. Keep your angle so you can turn if it gets too big for you. That's right. Push the motor. Yes. And keep on circling until you find the gap. Gap is a little bit more north. I'm holding my breath, he's turning again very sharp, very quickly. Well done, Alan. Right that boat, go north, go north. That's it, well done. Oops, it's gonna close up on the bank. Keep your angle so you can turn if you have to. Yes, go north. Must move north so you can see that I mean he must move north. Let's look at that side wash on the back there. He's got the speed, he's got the timing right, well done! He's going to climb another one and that's it. He's in the gap. Not a problem there. Happy hunting. Enjoy Next one on the channel is Stella. Also 22 foot outcat, the same as in Kunzi. line with the channel it's opened up north for him <laughs> hey Helen see this he's gonna say what the fuck look at that it's just patience and it could have been you beautifully executed Stella happy hunting enjoy the day that's Maverick Wiseman has got him on the run, he's got nice momentum. 2154 stroke Suzuki's has started, 850 butt cat, but a very very low light boat. The deck design is made for super super lightness. Yours is probably gonna cross the sandbar right in front of him. He likes getting the timing right and then just gun it. He's one of those keepers that can get the timing right. Nope, he's gonna run north into the gap. It's perfect timing. Oops, ugly one standing up in front of him. 
got in front of it well done Josh happy hunting enjoy the day and that's wave dancer Wiseman also got him on a nice speed floating nicely there Leon likes running north and there's perfect gaps up north. He's probably gonna execute his, his signature move by running far north. Beautiful 9.30 butt cat, 2.154. 204 strikes Suzuki's on the back. A game fisher. He's abiding his time, but I can see I can see the gaps for me north for Leon. That's it. Oh, he's going east. Got the bad cat up to speed, he's gonna push through the mid break. So gonna climb slowly over that one. Well done, Captain. Turning north again to get over that one. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Right, and that's a push for free spirit to the well watch boat. 30 butt cat with two, 204 strokes Suzuki's on the back and boat backs a bunch lining up this guy wants to check something One motor trim and tilt not responding. There it is all fixed up. The beach kids take a hammering here on the beach with the, when the boats come back. It's hard punch onto the beach. Three spirit two floating nicely. Guy getting his line right, see where the sandbanks are, where the gully exit is. Skippers are a little bit weary, there's been some nice incidents down south on the launching side down south, but this is much better up north. And that's him bringing it onto the plane. see anything that's happening there in the sun he's running north with a big one on his shoulder is he gonna turn around he's gonna turn into it because it dissipated yo beautiful gap there sky boat on to speed little bit out of focus but that's a perfect launch right there ride it like you stole it happy hunting enjoy the day happy whale watching enjoy okay, just in time for the whale watching to return the well behind the back line getting ready for the final approach are oh, they seeing something interesting there Interaction with NSRI, that's all. I landed a little bit too far south. 
but we'll get the cannon to do the job this guy approaching with a steady speed slowing down to line himself up with the sets because he's gonna need to use the sets to get over the sandbank and he's on yes he's on the move on the power Nicely jumped there, coming in hot. Happy landing, guys! Okay, the second trip for the day while watching on Free Spirit 2 to 204 strokes. White Suzuki's on the back, it started nicely. This guy seems happy, you can push me. Wiseman taking him slowly, he's drifting nicely into the channel with the back, the rip current. This is what, it's the wrong beach to swim. A lot of people tell me they swim at Ingwe, it's not the right beach, there's a rip current at Ingwe. You want the ocean counter current if you swim, not the rip current. And there's Free Spirit 2 on the power. Guy just keeping it just just on the plane making the ride as smooth as possible he's got some geriatrics with respect I say geriatrics on board he's turning into the surf no he's gonna turn around he's coming back into the channel testing the depth of the water so that he knows where he can turn what it is ceiling if I can call it that giving the people the feel of the boat what they can expect when things start to become suddenly oops how did that happen I didn't anticipate that that was unexpected, he got a little bit stuck on the sandbar over there That normally takes the skipper's confident level completely out of balance This guy is pushing for the mid break, he found his gap Yes, he got his timing right there perfectly And the mess that was in front of him a little bit earlier on, wow well done Sky, happy well watching, enjoy the day.